Welcome along to another Saturn Alliance video on how to. Today we're going to have a look at installing the latest Trend version 3.6 client server messaging. Once you've downloaded the software from the Trend site and burned it to a CD, basically put the CD into your small business server, um, open the CD and basically run setup.exe the application to install the trend antivirus software onto our small business server. Okay, basically we now select next, uh, we accept the conditions of the license and now continues on collecting some information about the server that we're going to be installing it on. And now we can choose to put in the activation code if you already have one. Um, but if we don't, we can simply click next and we get a 30 day trial. So I don't want to pre-scan my computer for threats because this could take quite a while. So I'm going to choose do not pre-scan my computer and go next. I want to do a custom installation so I can get the setup exactly the way that I want it. So I go next. Basically I select where I want to install it, so here I'm just going to change this and install it on the server name. This makes it easier for when you want to run the console manager at a later stage. I'm also going to choose to install it to my D drive, since my C drive on the server is reserved for Windows programs and the operating system only. I go next, next again. I can choose here whether to install it on Apache or IIS. Um, Apache will obviously install additional software on the server, so at this stage I'm happy enough to install it on the existing IIS server. I click Next. All these settings are fine. This is what uh, Trend will use to connect and talk to clients. Go Next. And now it actually starts collecting the information that I have inserted to commence installation. Now if you have small business server premium you'll be using a proxy to get out to the internet so I have to give it that details and I go next and now it'll check my internet settings to make sure that it can get out to the internet for registration and update purposes. Next it'll ask me for my SMTP or email server uh, it confirms the server name, which is obviously my small business server, and the recipient is going to be the administrator at the domain to receive all the email warnings and messages. Again, I now put in a pass set of passwords for the security server web console and also the client server, the agents that will be installed on the rest of my network machines. Choose whether I want to join the worldwide tracking program. Normally you accept this as yes. I now select which components I want to install on my computer. I want to install the client server messaging security agent, the messaging security agent, but not the remote messaging option. I go next, next again. Now I need to insert a login that will allow Trend to install its components onto the Exchange server, which is part of Small Business Server. Again, I'll normally use the administrator account, but I'll preface it with the domain name. Now check that it can log in to the bigger software. I can choose where I want to install the messaging security agent. Um, I choose normally IIS and normally if we change that to D. Go next and now I should be ready um, again except this is the port number, the random port number which the server is going to talk to the clients with. 
I go next. Now it tells me what it's ready to do. It's about to uh, copy all these programs, install it into this directory. Um, and basically, if I'm happy with all that, I go next and the installation. Once Trend's finished doing the initial part, it will now change screens to look something like this client server messaging security agent setup. And again, it will continue to install files. The installation screen will once again change once it's completed that stage to now be installing the client server messaging security for SMB. Now once the installation is complete you should see this message. We'll tick the option to connect to the security dashboard and click the finish button. Once that screen's disappeared the Trend Micro security dashboard will automatically load. This is simply um, launched through a web browser and connects to the Trend Micro console that allows us to configure the product to suit our environment. When the site launches you'll need to accept the security certificate because the console as you can see is a secure website via HTTPS. When the dashboard is loaded, it will appear like this. First time the console runs, you'll need to install a ActiveX control. Simply click on install. Um, the software is then installed. Once it is complete, you can then log in to the console with the password that you created during the setup. Again, once you log into the console for the very first time, it'll need to run an ActiveX control. Again, just select install. Once that software is installed, you are now presented with the security dashboard. Um, you can look at the live status. Everything I've got here is uh, functioning normally. I can go to security settings, which will show me um, the machines that I currently have in my network. So normally here I would see a list of the machines, but at the moment I've only got the server connected. So if I select the server, you'll see the server name, the IP address. If I now scroll all the way to the right, I will see under the option for the server, the version number. So again, this confirms that I have installed Trend Micro version 3.6 and it is operational. To finish with the console, I simply select log off up here. It will then close and I can log in again should I need to. And we'll find that an icon, a shortcut icon, has been already placed on the desktop. This concludes the brief overview of the installation of Trend Micro CSM Suite on a small business server 2003. Please keep an eye out for further videos from Saturn Alliance, especially the next one in the series, which will show us how to configure the Trend Micro Security Suite for optimal operation on a network. Once again, my name is Robert, and I thank you very much for watching this video from Saturn Alliance. For more information about Saturn Alliance, please go to our website, www.satinalliance.com.au.